I'm back. 60 days give or take. I haven't recorded a video. And I wanted to apologise. There's, there's several reasons. Firstly, I moved into a new house. Um, I didn't agree with the World Cup being where it was, so I didn't want to make any World Cup content. So, here I am. And I didn't want to do a preview. I didn't want to do a match reaction. I wanted to go back to me. I wanted to go back to me and talking about where we are, what this football team is doing and where we're going. Because the fact of the matter is, we are cruising to the championship at full speed. Like if, if this was... If this was a car with a Bulgatti Veyron travelling at 253 miles an hour towards oblivion, we are in deep trouble. We don't quite know what we can spend or what we can't spend. Um, we're not scoring enough goals. The manager is, is tactically inept. And trust me, he's not the biggest problem at this club and I'm not going to sit here and dig Frank out personally, I'm not. Because he's been put into a position that he has absolutely no experience in dealing with. Being ran by the board of probably the worst run team in England. Because this board doesn't have a clue and it, and it hasn't had a clue for a long, long time. It hasn't known what to do. It has shit itself on more than one occasion on manager sackings, uh, player recruitment, uh, football directors sackings, recruitment. Board level, it's managed horrendously. We haven't seen Farhad Mashiri, I would argue, at Everton in 18 months, two years. We haven't seen Bill Kenwright leave after 2 0 in a in a while, but he did against Brighton. Denise doesn't have a clue, but she sits there and she takes the brunt of it. She stayed, as far as I understand, until the very last kick of that game. And I respect her for it, because she knew what was going to happen. But this board is a joke. This board is a joke. And we can we can sit here and we can criticise Frank. Every fan channel could come on here and go, oh, I'm going to sack Frank. Any fan could do it. And and I'm all for sacking him. I'm not sitting here defending him. <coughs> I'd change him now. Absolutely. He wouldn't have got the Man United game. He'd be gone. But it doesn't change. Whatever you do doesn't change. You bring in different directors of football. They still recruit Neil Mulpay and McNeil. They still recruit them. They still go and spend... £30 million on two footballers who are not good enough. They keep players in the team like Tom Davis. They don't manage to get rid of players like Yuri Mina, Michael Keane. You know, players that aren't good enough. Seamus Coleman is still on the books at 86 years old. The board and the decisions they have made have been catastrophically horrendous. The Everton have gone from being a top 10, top 8 sides under Roberto Martinez. With a really strong team that underperformed in the last two years under him, finishing 10th and 11th, I think it was, or 11th and 11th, whatever. To being a team that has gradually gone on declined, has very little pacing, doesn't have a style of play, and doesn't actually have, and this is the biggest thing, and I haven't heard enough people talk about this, but they have no one in the final third that can keep the ball. So what happens is on the transition, everyone goes forward, and not enough people go backwards, because they're all having to go forwards. There's no number 10, or number eight, who is big enough, strong enough, good enough to hold on to the ball in the final third and to be smart enough to pick that pass 
thread it through to a winger. Try and dink it over the top to a striker. I don't remember the last time we scored a goal where it was neat, tidy football through the middle of the park. Because we haven't got the players. You know, we, we, we sit there and we, we laugh. We laugh when we've got all of these wingers and we're getting linked with more wingers. More wingers. But we need someone in the middle of the park that can put their foot on the ball and can pass, can keep it, can take the pressure off the defence and midfield for fucking ten minutes. We need a goal scorer that can actually score. Calvert-Lewin gets injured. His feet gets injured. Doesn't score enough goals anymore. Malpai is not a Premier League forward. He took a first touch. Pickford smashed the ball to him against Brighton. It hits his chest and bounces straight back through to Pickford. What's that? I, I don't know what to say anymore. There's no strategic plan around Everton. This whole strategic review was a shambles. And you've got... Every single, I mean, there'll be fan channels on air that will not say it, and I'm not digging them out because I get it. They've got more to lose than I have. But the board and this club is a joke, and I will sit here and say it. I would sit there and say it to Denise. I'd say it to Bill. I'd say it to Farhad. They have no problem. It is a joke. It is run like a joke. And you need to leave before this football team ends up in the championship. And you will be remembered in the glorious history of this football team as the people that sent it down. It won't be on Frank. Because unfortunately, he's coming to a team where he's just not got the experience to do the job with his hands tied around his back. And whether... Signing into Dwight McNeil and Mulpay where he's. I don't know. I don't know what Kevin Thurwell does. I just know. But for the first time in a long time, this football team is hopeless. Because, like I said at the end of last season, like I said countless times with different creators, the fans kept it, kept us up last season. It was us. The noise, the pyrotechnics, the blue smoke, the clapping to bring them home, the, the all of the, the positive things that us as fans did for them last season. We were great. We were phenomenal. We were we proved that we are the best fans in the Premier League last season. Every home game was a cup final. Every home game. Yet you sit there. You tell us everything's changed. You tell us you listened. And we are worse. We are worse. Yes, we haven't conceded as many goals, but we're giving that a good go lately. You know, conceding seven in two games to Bournemouth, conceding two at home to Wolves, who are bottom of the league and have only scored ten goals all season. Conceding four to Brighton. You know, I'm sitting here thinking... OK, well, if you're going to lose games, set up, go five at the back. I'm not going to criticise Frank for getting points when clearly he can't get points playing in a 4 4 2. It doesn't work. 4 3 2 1, 4 1 2 1, whatever. Whatever you want, doesn't work. If you're going to have to sit five at the back, stick five at the back. The only player in the last few weeks that I thought has, has clearly took on some initiative is Damari Gray. I felt sorry for him against Brighton. He picked up the ball a lot. He carried it well. He just had no other options. You can see how much this team misses just creative sparks, which they no longer have. I, I could criticise every member of this team in some way. I really could. So there's no point. But the point are, the biggest issue at Everton is the board. And enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. It is time to sell. It is time to go. And I don't care what happens. But if if Bill Kenwright and Frank Lampard are in the two key seats at this football team, 
acting chairman and football manager, we're going down. It's that simple. I'm leaving it there. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you lots. Thank you for staying with me. Thanks for all the messages of love and support. I'll see you soon. Peace.